You import products from China or any other country to Amazon FBA or Canada, UK, any other country in the world. But you don't know what you're actually paying for. You don't know what's your HS code. You don't know if the shipment is stopped or sent back to your supplier or the country, the origin of the product you source from. And all these things happening outside of your control and it's the year is for the profitability. So let's stop that. Okay, this is Barack Yoga. I'm the founder of Foursquare Digital Freight Forwarder. I lived in China eight years and in this video, I will be explaining you how to find the HS codes, how to find the alternative ones and how much you're gonna be paying for duty and tariff and tax. Let's get started. Welcome back. So today's video, I will be explaining you how to find the correct HS code. What is the HS code and HTS codes and the differences? And more importantly, what will be the right way to look at these prices and understanding the calculating your landing costs. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes a lot of companies and Amazon sellers or wholesalers are do, they are doing is that they don't understand their actual cost and more importantly, they let their freight forwarder to choose the HS code with their supplier. More importantly, not looking at an alternative and the biggest problem is you don't have any control on the final um, the payment of the HS code. So, today's video I will be explaining you what to do and how to find the correct tariffs and HS codes. Let's actually start with the what is the, the definition of the HS codes and what's the difference between the HTS codes and the HS code, right? So <clears throat> one of the most important things we're looking at in here is the difference between the HTS or HS code. The HTS code is the stands for harmonized system code. This means that HTS code is the six digit if you want to be like more specific about it. It's six digit code that use more than 200 countries and it's the same all around the world, almost 98% of the world, they're using the same HS code. And this six digit, the first six digit in the next slide I'm gonna explain is the definition of the product, the chapter and the heading. It means that this first six digit is the same all around the world. And the HTS code, it is, stands for the harmonized tariff schedule code. And that last digits can be varied by the country. So <clears throat> what is important in here we're talking about is, um, we're talking about here is the, the six digit, first six digit. This first six, six digit always the same for every country. So I'm going to show you an actual example about how to find this. So chapter means explaining the, the category of the product. This is 95, belongs to sports and leisure, okay? And the 06 is the second uh, two digit is the heading, the article and equipment for general physical exercise, gymnastic, athletics, and other sports or outdoor games. And the, the third <coughs> double digit is the ski parts, accessories, thereof, except ski poles. So the first six digit of this HS code, 950611-4010 is the the exact product, the name, the category, the subcategory, and most of the time, what is it made of? And depending on the country, there will be different type of tariffs and duty. So this is very important to understand for you to check the exact HS code, and more importantly, to understand your, your landing cost. Let's go a little bit more details for this, and we will explain you uh, what websites you can use for the harmonized tariff schedule, as well as to understand what kind of additional tariffs and duty, it depends on the product it's made of. Because, for example, for North America, for United States, some of the products made in Italy or France can have zero tariff, versus if the product is made in China, it can have 7.5% or 25% additional tariff, okay? so. If you're selling on Amazon, especially, most of the time, probably you're actually booking your shipment with your freight forwarder or your supplier, it's called DDP. DDP means due to deliver paid. However, if you don't know what HS code your freight forwarder is using to clear in the custom, and if there's any problem by the CBP, which is Custom Border Protection uh, depart the Department, they might avoid entering those products to the United States. For example, if your product is yoga mat, and if it is made of polyester, 
or let's say cotton. If you go and prepare this product, yoga mat made of plastic, so basically you are declaring the product as a different product and if it goes to an x-ray exam or if it goes to um, actual physical exam by the by the um, uh, border protection uh, officers then your product will be banned to enter the country they might take away the product or because you're declaring a wrong item they might send it back to the origin or <clears throat> they take the product and give you a, a huge penalty about declaring the wrong type of product this is why it is very important to talk to your freight forwarder or supplier to understand what kind of HS code they're using to declare the custom to the custom and more importantly you need to double check how much tax and tariffs you are paying a lot of freight forwarders also who are not in UCC licensed they might be lowering the invoice value to pay less tax to offer you cheap shipping price so you should not really believe this because it's very important to understand what's the cost of your value and more importantly um, the what's your shipping cost and how much it's going to cost you to export uh, how much it's going to cost you to import this product okay so in this video i'll be explaining you more details like what is import duty uh, federal excise tax merchandise processing fee harbor maintenance fee and what other additional tariffs uh, list one two three and four and how to check your tariff codes so if your cost if you if you import a product from china to us you will be paying if your goods value more than eight hundred dollars then you will be actually paying duty and tax if your product is less than eight hundred dollar then your product will be considered not a commercial product but more like a personal product so that's why you're not going to pay anything actually on that so this is one thing um, outside of this like federal tax you'll be also outside of this import duty and federal excise tax you'll be also paying a fixed cost of uh, which is called merchandise processing fee it's called MPF it's calculated 0.3464 percent which is a minimum of 27.2 20, US dollars okay another fixed fee that you need to pay is actually harbor maintenance fee so this fee only applies to the goods ships by ocean by, by not air it's the it's the fee that is taken by the harbor maintenance fee it's it's a very small fee it's 0.125 for the total goods of the value so if the goods of the value by by C you'll be paying duty and tax duty and tariff if it is coming from a speci specific country then you'll be paying additional NPF uh, merchandise processing fee as well as harbor maintenance fee if it is by air only MPF <clears throat> so you can have the list of the product that how much you are paying from what country what is the extra custom duty tariff for Chinese importers this Chinese tariffs are added after the President Trump raised the tariff on the product that coming from China additional tariff list and one and two will have the additional 25 percent and i will be explaining how you do that and additional tariff list again 25 percent on some product from china tools food chemical and construction material consumer agriculture products uh, commercial electronics and vehicle parts an additional tariff list four is has 7.5 percent so alternatively you before you actually import some product to united states or other countries you should be able to check how much it's costing your product to import and the way you can explain as I mentioned in here the HS code examples there's uh, the first international the first six digit is internationally uh, same in every country and it basically explain you the category subcategory and the main category and the last four digit is this specific country that it's specializing in that okay so the country code that you will be actually able to find how much tariff you will be paying it's it's in the hts.usitc.gov okay so let's start this uh, let's look at this together so let's look at the product <coughs> HS code first last six digit when I type of this product you can see that the first two digit is going to actually show us what kind of category is this so this is 95 
it starts with the 95 right so the 95 starts 0 6 so we're gonna go to 95 0 6 here this is skis and the parts and accessories except ski poles okay so this HS code will be provided you by your supplier most of the time a lot of companies they're asking us how to find the hs code how they can find alternative hs codes the best way to do is asking your suppliers to provide you the correct hs codes and you will be able to look for alternative by yourself you should be also asking your supplier if this product has alternative hs codes the reason i'm saying that so we have one product in the past that our customers imported so this is actually technically a mat but you need to have more specific decision about the type of mat you're importing if you're selling doormats for outdoor made of pvc or abs plastic that your hs code will be 30, 39 29 24 90 10 50 and this product has 3.3 percent plus 25 percent china tariff so if you're importing one hundred thousand dollar product invoice value then you'll be paying roughly twenty eight thousand dollar duty on this however if you're ordering product made of cotton or different material but the purpose of this use is in a bathroom floor mat the hs code is completely different so this is something you need to understand and see how much you'll be paying because this product has only 3.3 percent duty okay so once you have the product hs code the first six digit you will see what is it exactly that your product is worth of value the last other four digit we're looking at in here is 40 to 10. so the six digit is the same 40 10. so let's look at 40 and 10 here i need to scroll down my my document is 9506.11 and 40 right and then 10. so 10 is the snowboard you can see that this product has 2.6 percent of general tariff in here right so another thing you need to make sure that this product doesn't have additional tariff is you need to go and put the eight digit of the the first first eight digit what we are doing is 9506 1140 so this product is in the list a4 it means that this has additional 7.5 tariff so this is giving you the total value of actually in here you can see that this product has 2.6 percent plus 7.5 percent so if you're importing one hundred thousand dollar product you can look at <coughs> you can look at that that you have two two you have two point six percent plus you have seven point five percent you have zero point thirty four sixty four this is a standard fee the mpf merchandise processing fee and now you have 0 0.125 this is harbor maintenance fee so when you do a calculation your total duty for this product will be um, close to let's make the calculation you're actually looking at not this one if you look at this general product So this is 2.6, 7.5. So you're looking at around almost like 10%, 10.57% total duty and tariff you're gonna pay. So if you are ordering $100,000 product, you will be paying $10,571, okay? So this is everything you need to know about it. If you have any question, you can come back and ask us and most important thing you need to do here is speaking to your supplier freight forwarder look for an alternative hs code it's very important to understand what is your product made of 
and more importantly speak your freight forward to see how much it's worth of declaring the value of the good make sure you don't lower your invoice it's very risky and let's see you in the next video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the don't forget to press the subscribe button please and let's see you in the next video any question you can reach out to us at uh, sales at thank you for your time take care